Hi developers out there, how can they? In this clip, I'm going to show you how to integrate Paystack API into your Node.js applications using Node.js popular framework called Express.js. To start with, let us create a replicate project. So what I will first do is to come to this button and click on it. Then I will now search for Express.js server. So I will pick this one. Then I will call it a stack express server. So as you can see, our project is being created for us and it's almost ready. Now it's ready for us to use. Let me click on this file called express.js. So we have a subset of. All right. The next thing that we need to do is to remove this part. I don't think we will be needing this part again. Then here, let's have what is called paste stack. And uh, let me go to Paystack website. And here now, I'll click on this part and click on Node. All right, let me grab everything that we have here. After grabbing it, I'll come back to our IDE. Then I paste what I just grabbed. So we are going to be needing a few a few things here. The first thing is our secret key. So let me quickly grab that by logging in to my Paystack account so as you can see i'm now in my paystack dashboard so let me go to preferences then api keys and webhooks so i want to grab the test secret key so come here then grab this so i can now go back to the ide where we have the secret key it's what i just grabbed so what else do we need to do here now all right i don't think we have uh, any other thing to do that is just that then let me try to run and see if we have everything okay saying request has already been declared okay since we are having requests in this uh, get method so what we need to do now is just to rename what we have here so we can now say request like this tag so anyway we have a request like here and rex let's also have this tag rest this tag to rename it let me try to run it again okay i think everything is working fine now all right so if i just grab the link here and uh here if i paste it then hit the enter key have error no problem then i should add pay stack and then all right seems we are having some errors here let's try to look at the initial of the error so seeing pay stack is not defined oh all right so let me grab the it's a rest pay stack and paste it as part of our parameters. So let me try it again. And let me come here and reload the browser. So if I should come here, all right, we can see now that everything is working fine. We have a status true message authorization you are created and the and the authorization underscore URL we are looking for is generated for us in the console. That's good. The browser is still loading all right so i think i'll be able to get what we are looking for so if you look at it you see that our browser is loading infinitely so what we need to do now is to send this data to browser so to do that what we need to do is to have this uh, rest here and then we come to this uh, callback function the end uh, event so here now, I will just erase dot send. And then if I should now put this data here, I should stop this and try to restart the server once again. And then let me click, let me load again. You can see that we have this return to us now. Now we can now make a request to this uh, endpoint now. This uh, the URL we have here. So to do that, we are going to try it, making use of Svelte, React, and a view. Unfortunately, we have all this being created in our various tutorials we did in the past. So we are not going to start writing new front end. We have all this front end ready. If you never watched those uh, videos, I'm going to leave the links so that you can watch them and be able to make use of them in your either Svelte, view, or React project. So as you can clearly see, I have already open all the projects down we have a felt here then we have a view 
and then React. So we have uh, these three front end technologies ready. So the first thing we need to do here now is to come back here and try to grab the endpoint, the URL here. And let's start by first working on the thread. So the first thing that we need to do here is to come to this form tag. Okay, I think it's here. Then what we just grab now, I paste it here, right? And then uh, I will make some few changes to our fetch API here. So here now we turn it to query string by having instead of all slash we have a uh, the question mark there. Then here equal n and here. So here also we have a uh, equal. So I'm going to leave the videos to all these tutorials, the front end the two uh, video clips on Svelte, View and the uh, React beneath this video we are watching now. So I think uh, having done that, let's try to run and see if everything is working normal. I don't think we need this again. Let me just paste the that you are right here and hit enter. All right, we have everything ready. So let me try to open the console, the browser console, and see if there is a, any error that is being generated. All right, let me try to make some requests and see. Okay, no, we are not having everything here we are having access to okay we're having some error okay cause okay so since we are having a core issue there what that we need to do now is to install course so all that we need to do is to say npm i course try to in, install that uh, package so as you can see the package is successfully being installed now so we are going to make use of it in as a middleware we say app okay let's first import it so i'll say import oh sorry let's say let's first declare a variable call course i have a require here i have a course and app dot use and then we have a course yes so let me refresh the server and see if it's not working proper so let me send request again Okay, you can see everything is working now. So let me go, come back here and uh, okay, what we have here, let me remove this and put it here. All right. And uh, the data I have here is email. So we want to make the value to be a dynamic value. So what we, we need to do now is to remove this part and uh, we have a first dot query since we are using a query string here as you can see we are making use of query string here now and then what we are sending along we have a amount and the email so we grab this and have got email and the same thing here instead of having two twenty thousand here i have uh, the amount what we have here you can see the amount it can be anything but I'm using amount so i'll grab that and have it here all right so i think uh, that is pretty much all we need to do concerning this part all right let me restart the server once again and then uh, come back to our front end let me try to refresh all right so i want to input this now instead of that twenty thousand, should be able to have a thing hundred all right so here now we are going to have a times 100 all right so let me restart again so that we have the correct amount since everything is in couple very fast you know, again all right you can see we have a 10,000 the normal amount we are looking for all right so now if we come to our first project once again if you look at the results that we have here now suitable for this data now this authorization underscore URA to return undefined or no. All right, now let's have a optional chain in here. In case our authorization underscore URA returns a no or is undefined, I think we we shouldn't have a, any error affecting our fetch. So that in case this our authorization underscore URA returns no or undefined, our UI won't be blown up. So 
I think uh, to have a bit of a uh, error handling and the uh, protection there. All right. So the next one we want to work on now is on our view. So let me grab the endpoint the URL here also and here now our view. view. Also we have this and then and here now instead of having four slash we have a uh, this question mark. This is a query string and uh, here we have equal and instead of this a uh, forward slash once again we have a uh, this a uh, upper sign here and then here we have a uh, equal then here we have a uh, this upper sign also and then equal and that is pretty much what we need to change in this part so let's try to run the project now and let me grab what we have here here now instead of having this let me use with the, the view boom all right so if i should fill in everything here let's say i have a 5000 for instance and if i click on fill so since we are having some errors here all right so let's try to fix the error for for so this should come here to have a and here instead of that uh, question mark so i think our string the query string should start from here so let's try again and see if we are able to achieve something by correcting the errors there if we are still having an error saying god promise object object all right so i think uh, here now instead of having json dot pass under this variable instead of converting it to an object so instead we just have this JSON directly. Okay, let me try to remove this part now. So JSON and the comment out this. So we don't need to convert it to an object. All right, let's try to log what we have here, the result we have here, this JSON variable to our browser console. So I'll say console.log. Let's have a JSON now. So if I show just try to fill in so, okay all right if i should click now click on the button all right we are having some let me clean up once again and try to click on the button again all right we are having status force okay amount invalid amount sent okay let's see what we are having over there once again amount all right i think uh, okay let me try to get this close a little bit so let me try once again because we are having a kind of a white space here so i just tried to because earlier on we have a kind of space so i tried to remove that space so let's try to do something by filling in the form once again mm -hmm. and some amounts yeah i should click all right i think you can see everything is working fine now all right so let's move on to we are done with the uh, svelte and the uh, view so the next one we want to actually work on now we are going to work on react so let me try to close this vert now and then so we want to work on the react part now and to work on that i think the last video tutorial i work on we i think uh, we actually make use of the uh, axios so let's make let's try to see if this can also work perfectly so let me quickly grab the url once again and then and not paste it here the react for the react part now so let me grab the this url try to okay once again so i'm gonna fill in some information or some data there so when i click on pay with paste tag we are having this uh, error as you say all right i think uh, what we need to do now let's put, have a amount here and then we have a base and then the state variable what we have here amount we can grab this amount now and it's it here it seems a uh, having an error here because this color is supposed to change this ID now okay i think uh, we are having single code here instead of batics let's try to see let me have a batix here first and, uh, if i should grab everything here and 
is okay i think it's better now you can see all right and uh, let's have a percent and the email for dollar in poly phases we have a email as our state variable here this email let me grab it and paste it here i think everything is looking nice now let me try to test again we are still having this error okay i think he's saying request for a status code 400 bad request okay so we're having bad request here let me clean this as we don't have that we don't need that anymore then we don't need that any longer also we boost then we change to get so let me try again okay we are having another error now syntax error which object is not valid okay the same thing we have in other front end technology aspect and the view so we are expecting chasing but not converting it back to object here so now if i should click it once again you can see we have our checkout so everything is working now that's nice so that's it i think that's pretty much how far we can go concerning this although i think i have been able to you know achieve that as you can see so that's how to integrate paystack into our window js applications making use of express framework though i'm not a node.js developer i'm just starting to learn a node.js so i'm coming from php to just use you know some ideas from javascript and the php to come up with this anyway if you have uh, anything if you see anything that i'm doing wrong here so i will come uh, any correction or any constructive criticism so it's highly welcome so just tell me anywhere maybe something that i'm doing wrong concerning this uh, new dodgyest part that i'm not doing right just point it you know in the comments section below so that i myself i can continue to you know upgrade my you know learning you know trying to get along with a new dodgyest so that's it if this video clip has you know assisted you in one way or the other and uh, you feel that what i've done so far concerning this note gps is fantastic and i've really tried a little bit you know try to encourage me by giving it a like this video a like and then uh, you know leaving your comments and uh, also try to subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel 